So we're here in Chestermere today. Sheila Gunn Reed and myself have been touring around the Calgary area today, handing out our Stop Notley signs. And wouldn't you know it, Derek Fildebrandt, the leader of the Freedom Conservative Party, showed up to pick up a Stop Notley sign. No other party leader in the province has done something like this, so we decided to take the opportunity to interview him. Here's what he had to say to us. So Derek, tell me, how has this campaign been, been going for you? It's going awesome. We've got a lot of volunteers, uh, virtually the entire Wild Rose organization from the Strathmore side and, uh, and, and a fair bit from the Chestermere side as well have uh, come together with us, with the Freedom Conservative Party here. Even some people who are uh, supporting the UCP provincially are uh, voting for and supporting and volunteering for us here in Chestermere Strathmore because they know that there's only one real conservative option here. Uh, all our polls have got us neck and neck and uh, you know, we'll see the way it turns out on election day. And you're only fielding 24 candidates, I think that's the number. What is the reasoning for that? Well, we very deliberately set out the day we launched the party in July of uh, last year that we would only run candidates in constituencies where the NDP have no chance really of winning. Uh, and so that's resulted in us having 24 candidates in this election, including obviously here in Chestermere Strathmore, uh, where the NDP are... Uh, you know, if, uh, if, if there was no Conservative on the ballot versus the NDP here, the Rhinoceros Party would probably win. You know, I have, I, I've read your platform and I have to say my favorite part is the beer tax, scrapping the beer tax. What was, what was your reasoning for that? Well, scrapping the beer tax is maybe not the most important part of the platform. It's still my favorite, uh, coming from a German family. I just had to do it. So uh, we have a very aggressive uh, tax cut plan in, uh, in, in our platform. Uh, the Tories put almost all of their tax cuts into corporate tax cuts. Uh, we're going to cut corporate taxes as well, but not as much because we're also going to save some of that revenue for tax cuts to eliminate the small business tax. We're the only party that will even cut income tax at all. The Tories are going to leave in place the uh, Jim Prentice and uh, Rachel Notley new so-called progressive income tax. We're going to return to the 10% Ralph Klein flat tax. And of uh, course, uh, last but not least, my favorite is the complete elimination of the beer tax. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I, I've looked the polls province-wide and it's widely seen that the best that the FPC is doing is here in this riding I think um, what's the local reasons here that you would want residents of Chestermere Strathmore to be voting for you instead of your opposition well there's a few reasons for it uh, one I'm the only conservative who's not appointed by other politicians to be a candidate here uh, conservatives in this riding were told by Jason Kenney that they're going to have their MLA picked for them. Uh, we're the only party that's committed completely to open Democratic nominations. Even myself as the leader of the party, I had an open and Democratic nomination and uh, the Tories would have been welcome actually to put someone in to challenge me. Uh, so it's important that people actually pick their own MLA, don't have it picked for them by other career politicians outside the riding. And also in this riding, uh, well, I, I, I first off say that I think Lila's a very lovely lady. I've got no problem with her, but uh, her politics are far to the left of most people here. Um, <clears throat> she uh, was the only, con she vote she's the conservative who has voted with uh, the NDP on more bills than any other conservative in Alberta. And, uh, you know, my title in the legislature, other than MLA, is Dr. No, because I've voted against more NDP legislation by a mile than any other MLA in Alberta. I'm the only MLA in the province who voted to cut his own pay. I'm the only MLA who voted uh, against race and gender quota legislation, voted against um, uh, the UN, uh, uh, the Paris Climate Accord, against uh, cutting oil production, against Trudeau's ownership of the pipeline. Uh, and a lot of other bills. So, uh, you know, I've got a, the most conservative voting record by a, by a landslide of any MLA in the province. And while uh, Leela's a very nice person, I'd say, uh, she has uh, certainly got the most liberal voting record of any conservative here. And there's a very good reason that they didn't allow local conservatives to choose their own candidate here, because they know that uh, uh, in that kind of race, uh, she probably would not have been selected. This campaign seems like it's been going on for a while and now it's almost been a month ago that rumors were swirling that Brian Jean was going to join the Freedom Conservative Party. What ended up happening there? Why, why didn't he or why was that a plan originally? Well, Brian would have to speak for himself, but uh, certainly Brian and I had some, uh, some discussions and uh, he ended up giving me some, some tips on leadership. You know, I'm a new leader of a new party. Our party was only founded at the end of last July. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, he'll have to answer for, uh, for himself about uh, his own decisions. All right, and do you have any messages to voters that you want to that you want to add here? Well, you know, I'd say the last time we had a majority Tory government without any Conservative opposition, remember how far off the rails they went, how entitled to power it became. And they're already entitled to power long before even 
attempting to form a government while in opposition. I've never seen that kind of thing before. So, you know, in the event that the Tories had a majority on their own, we can provide a voice that's going to pull them in a much more conservative direction, that is not going to be catering to political parties in Ottawa, blue or red. We're the only party that stands for equality or independence, that Alberta should have the same rights as any other province, including Quebec, to collect our own taxes, have our own police, our own EI, our own CPP, and our own immigration system, and the end of complete, uh, complete end of equalization, and that we'll back that up with a credible threat of a vote on independence if Alberta can't be treated equally. And you're not going to get that with the Tories. In the event that there was a minority government, uh, we would certainly be open. There's no way in hell we'd ever prop up the NDP, so we'd be open to working together in some form of agreement or coalition with the Tories if we could meet somewhere in the middle on our two parties' uh, platforms. Uh, you know, they've got some good ideas, but in some areas I think it's a complete cop-out and sell-out to the left. Uh, and we're, we're much more, uh, we're not progressive conservatives, we're aggressive conservatives. And so, uh, in the event of a minority government, I think people would see a much more conservative government than just the uh, UCP on its own. All right, well, thanks for joining me here today in Chestermere, Derek. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good luck. And that was Derek Fildebrandt, leader of the Freedom Conservative Party of Alberta, largely seen as the most right-wing party running uh, to put MLAs in the legislature. Derek Fildebrandt himself is running to be the member of the Legislative Assembly for Chestermere Strathmore, a new riding. Polls have now closed, advanced polls have now closed finally. A record number of folks have voted already. It seems that their Albertans are more eager than ever to throw out their government. Uh, the next chance you'll have to vote and the last chance you'll have to vote is election day. That will be tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, April 16th. Polls should be closing around eight o'clock, so make sure you get there in time to cast your ballot. For the Rebel.media, I'm Kean Bexty. Don't forget, we'll be live streaming our election coverage on April 16th. That's tomorrow. We'll be doing it on YouTube. So right when the polls close, be sure to get to your computer or throw it on your TV and watch the other side of the story, the side of the story that the mainstream media just isn't going to share with you.